Hi, this is Pat, and I'm going to do a little bit of a demonstration on making painting with ink on paper. And it's um, week one of our class, Making Your Marks on, on Paper. So some of the things that you'll need are five or six pieces of paper. Nice to have different textures with the paper, so you'll get a chance to try them all. And we're going to have different kinds of inks, acrylic inks, FW ink, Dr. Martin's watercolor ink, and of course the old Indian ink. And you're going to need some tissue paper, let's say Kleenex maybe, and have it, see I already used it this morning. So you'll have a couple of pieces of these all ready to go. And it's a good idea to put some paper, like copy paper or some kind of paper down before you start inking because it usually bleeds through. So remember our goal for this is to have a sense of how does it feel when we draw with ink on a particular kind of paper. Because some papers are more absorbent than other papers. And some people's papers have like um, texture to them. So they would feel different. And of course watercolor paper would be different. So you want to have an idea of how do you feel when you do it. I'm going to do a little demonstration about it. And I'm going to do modified contour. That means that I can peek down once in a while. Not a lot of looking down though. Because if you look down too much, then you're going to feel like you have to do a good job. But if you just look down once in a while, it'll say, well, it didn't need to be good anyway. So I can just enjoy doing it. Uh, and I'll read you something that somebody wrote to me when they did the exercise about how enjoyable it was for them to not have to be stressed out thinking they had to do a good job because they tend to be in control or want to be in control. Okay, so we have India ink here and we're going to squeeze it to get a little ink up in there. And we're going to, I'm going to draw this other ink bottle because I've done it before and I'm comfortable with it and so you won't have to be looking at me like making a big mess. So we're going to use my dominant hand and I'm going to do up and around and it comes around like that and then it comes around like that and then it comes down like that. See modified contour you try to keep the pen going all the time on the object. Around like that, and around and up. <laughs> See how it has a kind of interesting look to it? It's not perfect. And then if you take your Kleenex and you give it a little pat, there, that one. I love the little spot right there. And I wish I had thought to drop it out more often. I think I told the, all the students that to drop it more often. Let me get another kind of bottle and I'm going to get another kind of paper and we're going to try it out with that. This is cardstock paper and it has a little bit of a, it's a visual texture to it. It's not a lot of tactile texture, but I, I think it's nice to work on. I'm going to try it and this time I'm going to try the FW acrylic ink and it has a different kind of a stopper. I just squeeze, see that stopper, see how that is? I'll put it here so you can see it get some of that off. I, I really am attracted to using this stopper as compared to the India ink stopper. And I might as well do the same object because I'm kind of comfortable with that. Oh look, see when it drips out? Oh my goodness, it's so much fun. It's kind of like delicious. Oh my goodness, look at that. And then it comes down and around and up. And I can squirt a little bit out if I want to, which makes it more exciting. Keep looking at the object. Look at that. Oh my goodness, it's gorgeous. Ah! I think I'm going to just tie that together there. All right, now we get our Kleenex and we lay our Kleenex down. Oh! Look at how nice that looks even. Pat it a little times. Look at, ooh, look at that. <laughs> oh my God, I love it. <laughs> I'm going to do it one more time. Pick up some of that. Oh, now I'm suggesting to you guys that each time you do one that you stop and reflect. So you can say how you liked the actual doing of it, how you liked the tool that you used, um, how you like the product that you got. Now this is wet so you can't. So it might be a good idea on this scrap piece of paper that I used to protect the table that I make some notes. So if I was to write a note, I probably would say things like, I like the paper. Well, you're going to write it. I like the paper. I, I love the color of the ink that I'm using. I love the way it got really blotchy when I put the, the tissue on it. And I like the product a lot. So I was very excited. 
for me, this appeals to me more than this one. And partially it's because this FW Acrylic Artist Ink has a good reputation for artists to be a little bit more creative and artistic. And India Ink is really tends to be more for someone who's like a graphic designer. And so they both have purposes, but you need to know which ones you like the best. Because the, the whole goal of this whole six weeks is to find out what do you like. Okay, so now you have to go ahead and try at least six pieces of paper. It might even be good if you use more like eight or ten. That's what I'm thinking, because I've probably done 20. So you do that, and, and then you'll, you'll really get the hang of it, and you'll know whether you really like it or not. Not just because you like the color, but maybe you don't like the paper. Maybe you like that color on something else. So try lots of different ones. And then in class, we'll go over it all, and I'll get to see your homework. And we'll move right on to the next thing. Okay. Hi. I just wanted to say one more thing. You know, sometimes people don't draw because they're looking for the perfect arrangement, the perfect still life. And so they say, oh, I can't do it today, or I don't, I have nothing to look at. Well, don't let that be an excuse. Look at, I've got a spray bottle here that's worth drawing. And look at just the ink bottles. And anywhere around the room, I probably could pick up a brush. I could pick up anything to draw. Of course, you could also use photographs. I have a bunch of photographs that we used in our class because some people aren't as good at three-dimensional drawing. So if you're not quite good at that yet, go ahead and use a photograph because then it's just two-dimensional. And I also wanted to just show you one more, um, one of these inks, and I'm going to use the watercolor this time, and you'll see how wet it is. And I thought I'd use the textured paper. Now, that's just visual texture. It's not, you know, it's not tactile texture. So let me just do one more. And I will use this as an example again. So this time I'm going to try the Doc Martens um, watercolor ink. And the stopper, I think, is... See how it's a straight stopper this time? Can you see that? And not the little hook on it. And I'm partially the one with the little hook on it. So let's do this again. We're going to come up and around. See, it's kind of nice because I sort of know what that looks like now. So I've done it enough times. Okay, comes around. Now remember, it's modified contour, so you're only looking down once in a while. So of course it can't be perfect. Isn't that kind of nice, not having to worry about that perfect thing going on? And then it comes down like this, and you can blow, drop it off, come around. And every once in a while, I'm giving it a squeeze. So now, this is how it looks before I blot it. And I could just leave it and let it dry, and maybe I will. But let me show you again the one that I did that I blotted that I'm really attracted to. This one. So this is what it looks like before you blot it, and that's what that particular paint looks like after you blot it. And that one was the FW paint. And this one is watercolor, so it's usually even more watery. So let me just lay this down, and we can take a look and see what, what it looks like. I mean, I like it like that, but probably not as much as I like this one. What if I just blot it a little? Oh. It's kind of nice, not blotted entirely, but it's not quite as exciting to me as the other one. Let me blot that side a little. Okay, so what about that? Yeah, it's okay, I like it, but I'm not as crazy about it as I am of this one. This, so that's my favorite, this is my next favorite, as far as the outcome and the product. It certainly isn't about that it looks really good or it looks realistic and just like the object, but we're not after that. We're trying to see what appeals to us, I think that paint might be old because it's kind of gritty on here. Actually, while I have you here, let me try using let me try using the brilliant watercolor by Winsor Newton right on top of that because we're we're experimenting anyway, so we don't mind. Let's just see if we like this better because there's the stopper that I like. Let me just go over that. I already like it, though. I can tell. Okay, look at this. <laughs> Whoa. And I'll put a little one right there. Okay, so it's really, really liquidy. It's watercolor, and it's very liquidy. I like the way it shows up better on the paper, so I like the contrast of the dark against the light. And what if I just blotted it in a few places? Hmm. Well, that is nice. Oh yeah, I like that. I like that a lot better. So you go ahead and experiment. If something doesn't 
appealed to you, try it again. I loved using it as a tool for drawing. I loved the way it kind of flowed and went around. So that's the kind of look that you guys have to figure out for yourselves what really appeals to you. Okay, hi. Last week we talked about using the ink dropper and doing ink uh, as a painting tool, using the ink as a painting tool. And this was the first one that I did last week, but I, I, I don't know if you noticed, but I wasn't that excited about it. But I thought maybe I could show you something you could do with that to make it, well, acceptable to me anyway. So before we start week two, let me just go over that and show you what I might do. So remember that was the part that I liked the best, that little dot right there? <laughs> well now, whoopsie daisy, that brush just doesn't want to stay there. Okay. All right. So what if I drop some of this back here just kind of randomly? Oh, already I like that better. Maybe that could be enough. Oh my goodness, I love that. But that wasn't what I was planning on doing. So let me continue so I can show you what, what I was thinking. What if we put the dock behind randomly like that? And what if we came right to the edge and we did something like that and just messed that up? And then you're the boss. So you can turn it around and catch this edge. Come in as close as you can. Yep, just like that. See? Wow. And then just spread that out. Mm -mm 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 -mm. So now, this appeals to me a lot more. I don't know about you, but I like the way that looks better. You know, you're, you're the boss of yours and I'm the boss of mine, so we can do whatever we want. I think I'd still like to do I'd probably stay with it and I'd put the little thing on here because that's where the writing is. I might do a few of those little things there. That's good. I'm happy with that. <laughs> there. 